Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how in Xero, you can reconcile transactions for personal money that you deposit into your business bank account. Now I use the Australian version of Xero in this video, but the principle is pretty similar all around the world. So you can get value from this video, no matter which version of Xero you're using. And if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can reconcile or account for personal money that you invest or transfer into your business. So this is going to be money that you've transferred from a personal bank account into your business bank account. Now you can do this with either a director's loan account in Xero or the owner funds introduced account. And the one that you use will depend on the type of business that you run. So if you have a company, you will most likely use the director's loan. If you have a different kind of business, then you will most likely use the owner funds introduced account. Okay, so the end goal here in Xero is to have the business bank account with the debit side and the owner funds introduced account with the credit side, if you're into your debits and credits. And just a couple of things. First of all, you do want your business bank account to be hooked up to zero and to be receiving the transactions either automatically or if you manually upload them. But the personal bank account that you've transferred the money from, you do not want that to be hooked up to zero because it's not a business bank account. So you shouldn't hook that up anyway. Okay, so let's go into zero now and we'll see how this is done. Okay, so over in the Australian demo company here, what I'm going to do is just go into the business bank account and we'll go to the reconcile tab and we're just going to find a transaction. So on this side over here, these are the transactions that come through the automatic feed or if you manually upload them, they'll show over on this side. So we'll go through and we'll find a receive money transaction that we could just pretend is money that we've invested into the business. So I think over here on the next page, there's this thousand dollar deposit here from eBank. And if I just click on more details, you can see it doesn't really say much there. So we can just pretend that this eBank deposit is a thousand dollars that we've gone and transferred into our own business here or invested into our business. So all we really need to do is just reconcile this transaction and it should be fine. And the way to do that is to come over to the create tab over here and create a receive money transaction. So what we're going to do is just put for who I'll just put my name in there. Okay. So you can just go ahead and put the uh, name of the owner or director of the business in there for what we need to choose the appropriate general ledger code. And the one we're going to choose is the funds introduced code which I'll come down and find in here somewhere. I believe there we are owner a funds introduced. So that one there, and then we can just pop a description in here. Okay. So you can just say something like owner funds deposited into the business. All right. So that's all we need to do, but I'll just show you um, that you can actually click on add details here and you can go in and just put some extra things into the transaction if you need to. So if you wanted a reference number, up there. If you wanted to add a file for some reason, you could do it here and just upload it. If you needed to split this out into multiple lines for different general ledger codes, you could do that as well. And you can also change this um, tax inclusive or exclusive code over here, but we don't need to do that because this is BAS excluded anyway. It's got nothing to do with GST, but I don't need to change anything here. I can just save the transaction and then click reconcile. Okay. So that's been reconciled now. So what I'll do is I'll just go into the chart of accounts and we'll go into liabilities. And if we scroll down, that's the owner funds introduced account there that we just used. So I just wanted to show you if I click on that, just how it's set up. So it's a current liability. You can change the name there. If you like, you don't need to put that a there, or you could put your own name there or the, the, the name of the owner. So you can change that. Make sure it's BAS excluded because it's outside of GST law. It shouldn't have GST on it. And then down here, you'd want to check on this enable payments to this account, 
which we didn't use in this exercise, but you may need to use it um, in future for other things. And I've got videos um, on those types of transactions. So just in case you need to set this up in your business, you can use the demo company and just copy off this. This is how you do it. And I'll just finish off by going to the balance sheet. And I'll run it at today's date. And we'll just see how the debits and credits came through. So we had our, if I scroll down a bit more, we had our business bank account that had one side of it. So if I click into there and I'll go down and find that thousand dollar transaction, which was down here. So there's received money, 29th of August. It's got my name as the owner, thousand dollars on the debit side there. And if we click into it, Okay, so that's the received money transaction that we created um, when we did our reconciliation. You can see it's exactly as we put it in with the description and everything. I'll just go back and back again. And we'll just go have a look at the other side, which is down in here. Owner funds introduced, $1,000. Okay, there it is there. So you got $1,000 there on the credit side. So the debit was in the bank account, the credit side's over here in the funds introduced account and everything's reconciled and fine. Okay, so that's how if you deposit some money into your business bank account from your personal funds, you can go ahead and just create that receive money transaction, code it to your own of funds deposited account or your director's loan and the debits and credits should flow through to the right places on the balance sheet.